That's a fine horse you got there. Thanks. All right. Be well now. Bye. Darn people. What the? You goddamn fool! I'll shoot you like a sick hound. You almost got shot, you idiot. All right. Yep. Get him. Who goes there? It's me. Welcome back, Arthur. Arthur. You're very sweet. Strange and horrible and Driscoll. Mr. Mork. I'm not no Driscoll, miss. Okay. Whatever you say. Hello, Bill.
so focused on my devotional. Arthur. Hey, that ain't on. Arthur. Dutch? Miss O'Shea? Well, feels like we are finally getting back on our feet. <laughs> you, uh, find a buyer for them bonds we stole? Not yet, but Jose is working on it. When we heading west? Soon? I don't know. Feels like things have changed. The whole world's changed. They don't want folk like us no more. We're being hunted. We are smarter than them. Only the feeblest of men take jobs in the government. <laughs> I hope so. Trust Dutch, Mr. Morgan. You have to. They got Micah! Dutch! Arthur! What's going on? They got Micah. He, he's been arrested for murder. He was in Strawberry It's okay, and... son. Breathe. <sighs> they nearly lynched me. They... They got Micah and the sheriffs in Strawberry. And there's talk of hanging them. Here's open. Arthur. What? The fool brought this on himself. You know my feelings about him, Dutch. You think I can't see past his bluster to the heart inside? He is a fine man. No. I ain't saving that fool. I can't go. My face will be all over West Elizabeth. I am asking. He would do it for you. I don't think he would, but fine, all right. Arthur. You okay, Lenny? Yeah, of course I'm okay. You don't seem okay. You take that kid into town. Valentine, not Strawberry. Get him drunk. And Arthur? No crazy business. I've given that up. And you get Micah out of that jail. Come on, son. 
I'll get to it, Dutch. Just can't drop everything. as fast as I could. Didn't stop for nothing. Yeah, you look like you've been through it. <sighs> I'm beat. We finally get off that mountain, then this. Micah's got a crazy side off him. What were you boys doing? You are supposed to be scouting ahead for it. I kept asking him what we was doing, but he was... You worry too much, kid. Just, just some bit. Ten two kid, you know how he is. Yes, I do. He was half soaked before we even got there. Then we ran into some fellas. One of them, Mike, knew, drank some more. And this is supposed to be a dry town we're in too. And then he shoots one of them. I know how that goes. Couldn't even tell you quite how. It happened like the strike of a match. The law was on us fast too. They was ready to strangle me up there and then. But I got away, just about. You're all right now. We'll take care of it. So you're gonna go get him? I'll come with you. No, you leave it to me. For now, let's drink some. Forget about Mike. It was drink that started all this. We'll just have a cup. Settle you down and head back, okay? Okay. Now, I should warn you, me and a couple of the other boys, we got in a bit of a fight last time we was here. What kind of fight? Rocking your boots? Oh, nothing big. No, we kept it clean. We're all good. <laughs> if you say so, Arthur. Hello, sir. Mister. Here we are. Whoa! Watch it! Just one or two, right off Of course, just a drink. No big drama. Can we get a couple beers, please? You, I don't want no trouble. You'll get none from me. I was defending myself. Tommy, he's... He'll be fine. <laughs> Here, have one for yourself. Thank you. <laughs> mm. Micah seemed to know a lot of people. That was the problem. How you mean? I mean, I done seen a lot of crazy, crazy a stuff, but Micah... A lot Mike... of crazy, crazy stuff. Will you shut up? Will you shut up?
Be quiet, buddy. Oh, there, Dullards! My lord, you men is dull. <laughs> hey, leave this fool alone. Leave the. Fool alone! People have been leaving me alone for the last ten years. I'm bored with being left alone. <laughs> hey, buddy. You don't shut up. I'm gonna rip your head clean off your shoulders. Is that clear? Get out of here! Clear? Clear? Very clear. I'm on my way. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's great, partner. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny, where are you? Hey, you see my friend anywhere? Wouldn't know. Hey, Lenny! Lenny? You seen that fella I was with? I don't know. Lenny, where are you? Can't find my friend. You know where <laughs> Why did you never marry? That's the thing, you see, because it. Lenny? Lenny! Get away from me! Lenny, where are you? Oh, 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 come on! Come on. Yeah, shut your mouth, mister. Yeah, you 
Don't listen. Where's that horse got to? <gasps>
Hey, wait up there. Oh, hey there. Can you give me a ride to the nearest town? I can't. This is very kind of you. Cut me loose, damn it! You're a bad shot. You look like a beached fish.
appreciate you stepping in there. Those bastards been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. You watch yourself, all right? Stay out of trouble. I'll try. Well, don't feel you have to hang around on my account. You'll be all right. Just stick it out. I just want to go back home.
Did he send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it. I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> You're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <coughs> Listen. If you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. Why not? And we'll be proving a lot of stuck-up buffoons very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. Good day to you, sir! Good luck! I'll keep my eye out for you! Stay there, boy. All right, boy.
Hey, you. What do you want? Howdy. You Granger? That's my name. And my occupation, too, if you hadn't noticed. Weren't always like that, though, were you? Used to be a quick draw guy. You knew Jim Boy Calloway? Used to be's correct. Then there's a long over. And who might you be? Don't matter. I need you to tell me about Jim Boy. Just a quote for a book. A book about Jim Boy? <laughs> well, shit. I can't talk to you now. Look at me. A knee deep in hog crap. Well, don't mind me. We can talk while you work. <laughs> I ain't talking and shoveling. Besides, young man like you get it done in half the time. I don't know about that. What's to know? You interested in the old days? You shovel this shit, I tell you some stories. You keep your hands clean, I don't give you squat. God damn it. These better be some stories. Oh, they are. Pick up the fork and get to work. Or get out of here and stop wasting my time. I'm gonna do this for you, but I don't like it. Jim Boy weren't nothing, you know. Me? I killed men, women, and children, too. Animals. I even killed rocks. And I killed them good. I shot folks, stabbed folks, skinned folks. I scalped some. Boy, they scream when you scalp them. Hey, let me work. Don't know what's got into these hogs, but I know what's coming out of them. <laughs> I bash folks, butchered folks. I burn folks alive. Very folks alive. One time, I... I get it, all right? You're me. What about Callaway? Now it's clean enough to eat off. Uh, I guess I'm done. Get that barrel to the shit pile, and I suppose you is. All right. No shortage of shit round here. Comes from hungry hogs and no hands. Uh, uh, hell, uh, that stinks. <laughs> okay, I cleaned up your mess. Go on. Tell me about Callaway. I said I'd tell you stories. I didn't say they'd be about him. Don't trifle with me, old man. You knew him. Just give me something, anything. You're making a book, you should make it about me. They're just words, is all. Give me something to say and I'll leave you alone. You owe me that. Hey, you be careful. <sighs> Killer like me, it don't take much to end up on the end of my knife. One hey, time. You know I... what? I don't think you were anything at all. Just a crazy old man. I ain't a killer? <laughs> well, you'd already be hog feed. I hadn't made a deal with the Federals got this farm. This is your last chance, Mr. Granger. Give me a quote for the book. Hey, hey, hey you don't you don't hit no man to peace, no government witness. <laughs> Callaway said you was full of piss, but he didn't tell me the half of it. I'm itching to drop you, girlie. Only you ain't worth my time. I, I got too much to lose. Too much to lose? Well, seeing as I cleaned up this pigsty, I figure I'm in my rights to wreck it. Let's see. You don't want to do that? You walk away right now. Well, well. All I wanted was a quote. You don't know who you're trifling with. That's my stick! You walk away right now. No. No. No! You didn't know! You just took yourself a regular shit shower, Mr. Granger. Boy, that's real nasty. You earned yourself a killing. And I'm gonna enjoy it now. Draw! It's gonna be the last thing you do.
Sorry. Not bad, boy. Ain't gonna harm you Mister. anymore. I don't know.
Mr. Morgan. My table awaits your offerings, Mr. Morgan. Ah, I hear you. Thank you. This will help the stew. Good job, Mr. Morgan. You okay there, Tilly? I'm okay. Warm, at least. Could do with getting out of here for a bit. I'm sure. Hello, Arthur. Greetings, my boy. So, we found the O'Driscoll's hideout, but no sign of comb. Well, so long as we're hitting them before they hit us. Oh, and that kid? He's all right now. Remember too much. You? I woke up in the middle of nowhere. <sighs> Messy. Okay, I'll catch you later then. All right, Arthur. John. Hi there, Arthur. How you feel? A little better. Well, glad you're on the man. Okay. You okay? Oh, oh. Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Do you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out? <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. 
You gonna take the old man into town? You can take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on in. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> you ladies are going to love it. Sure, you'll see. Real civilized. <laughs> Let's go. All right, you know the way? Yeah, me and the boys got into a bit of a fight at the saloon there. <laughs> Lumbago. It's very serious. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really. You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? This way. Come on. You'll be all right. Gentlemen, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What was that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you have it, your pulse of old lizard. Lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> well, you did. <laughs> <laughs> back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Go left here, down the main street. Chair's always on the right. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. 
Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. Just like I said, the cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at its finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> okay. I'm not gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm, then rats with the plague, then you. Shut up. This is the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Drop a whiskey for a start. Well, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Yeah. That guy should probably steer clear of the saloon this time. They got some nice jerky here, and you look like you could use some energy, Arthur. Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. Wait, ain't you the feller who had the fight with Tommy outside the saloon? Yeah, that all got a little out of hand, but I didn't swing first. <laughs> sure, well, these things happen. And that was some good viewing. Don't reckon folk ever seen Tommy lose a fight before. Well, it's all done. Now. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. So, you're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Well, look at this. A jaw harp. What is this list of yours? I got a lot to replenish after that god-awful time in the mountains. All done. Thank you kindly. Ah, <laughs> this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. That should do it. Let's go wait for them outside. Fellers, trying to stay out of trouble now. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen. <laughs> I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in their new Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh -huh. Where's Tilly and Karen? Uh, I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. 
They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off. Get your hands off her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. You're lucky we're in a busy town, you son of a... <laughs> Find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey. Hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go away with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. What was that all about? Just someone I used to know. Uncle! Will. Look after her. I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Can I help you, sir? Posse riding through town last week, dragging some helpless farmer by a goddamn rope. You looking for a room? No trouble now, please! Oh, get the hell out of here, will you? Sorry. Wrong room. Ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! Who's talking now, huh? What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him. Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But. Stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. Oh, I will. Okay After you. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched uh, me. Arthur punched him a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? 
No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on. Get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just borrowing it. You stay away from me! Get back here right now! We need to talk, pal! I don't want no trouble! You stop right here! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. Now please pull me up. Please. I made a mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yep. There we go. Hey, mister. Howdy, partner. Hey, you there. Hold up. What? Okay, throw out your money, and nobody gets out. No, no. Christ, Christ. Christ. Oh. Lord. Oh. Lord. Oh. 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 You got a hook. Oh. Oh. Yep. ropes off me, you piece of dirt. This is uh, very kind of you. <laughs> Don't do it. You're Help coming me. with me.
Yes, Miss Grimshaw. One of the girls saw that friend of yours, Mary Gillis, sniffing about. Mary? Yes. I mean... Okay, okay, say no more. Well, suit yourself then, Mr. Morgan. Arthur. You work out, Dutch. You always do. Hello. We'll be working on a plan there. Always. I'll tell you what I'm bored of, being laughed at. Bored of being the butt of all you fools' jokes. It ain't nice, and it ain't brother. Look, there's old Big Bill. Oh, look at him, ain't he so dumb? Dear Arthur. I've written this letter a hundred times or more, and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one, but I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls, or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town, and I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you. Mr. Morgan, can, can I? Are you okay? Yes. That was miles away, I'm afraid. So it seems. Anyway, it's that fellow Downs. He, uh, do go?
intruder? Exactly. We lent him quite a sum. It seems like he has little intention of repaying us. He was quite ridiculous when I went to see him. You, uh, you've not been to see him yet, I take it? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, it's just had a lot on. I'll go give him a gentle reminder. Not so gentle. I don't like his kind. Superior. As you wish. You okay? You okay? Miss Jones. You've been doing good. Thanks, Arthur. Keep at it. <sighs> okay, Arthur. All good there, Pearson? Still need more food, Mr. Morgan.
Okay then. Oh, Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? Thomas Downs!
Oh, Mr. Downs! Downs! Where are you? You, uh, uh, whatever do you want? Mr. Thomas Downs? You owe me money. Uh, oh, no, no, I'm, I'm, I'm... We ain't a charity, Mr. Downs. That debt weighs on me heavily. It's going to be paid. Oh, come here, you maggot. Please, sir. I'm... I'll... Really? Threaten me, would you? Oh, please. I have a family, sir. Please. I don't care about your family. Why did it have to come to this, huh? You ain't such a do-gooder, are you? If you're running out on debts... I'm... I'm not running anywhere. I'm... I'm... I'm, do I'm doing my best for you. You are a slippery little bastard. But I got you now. Please. Please, show some compassion. Be reasonable. <laughs> You borrowed money from my business partner, Herr Strauss. You owe him, you took the money. He wants it back, what's not to understand? <laughs> Where's our money? I don't have it. Sell your place. We already owe more than it's worth. <coughs> then sell your wife, or your family, or something. We ain't your idea of charity. Is that clear? <laughs> What are you looking at? Thomas! I said what you looking at, woman! My husband isn't well! If we could just have more... Like I said, we ain't nobody's idea of charity. Get us the money! Ah, how did you get on? Not so good. He's almost dead. And they seem more or less destitute. You were a fool for lending them the money. Well, people who aren't desperate don't seem so interested in my propositions. Of course.
A hundred years ago, we'd have been indentured men. My people were peasants starving in a field someplace. My mamas were in Lincolnshire. My daddies were outside of Rotterdam. At least that's what they told me. The modern world is ugly. But the old world was worse. Our job, our job, is to make a better world for ourselves. Not go backward, but go forward with hope and dreams. Seriously. And that hope, that hope begins now by being hopeful and happy. So cheer up, all of you, cheer up. You okay? Yeah, just fed up with all the pessimism around here. There he is. Hi, Arthur. Everything okay? Always. Just checking. All right, Arthur. All right. Gonna join me here, Arthur? You might be the youngest, but some of the others could learn a thing or two from you. Appreciate you saying that. Good morning, Arthur. 
You got everything you need, Miss Grimshaw? Oh, not by a long shot, Mr. Morgan. Hey, if you could give me some leather working tools, I can make some rugs and blankets and the like out of these hides you're bringing in. Okay, leave it with me. Thank you, Mr. Pearson. Good morning. How are things? Yeah, good. That's what I like to hear. Thank you. 
Get back. Stranger. I don't mean no harm, okay? Just want to speak to Hernandez. We don't take two visitors up here. Kill this fool! Ah! Ah! 
Blacko Hernandez, you in there? I didn't want trouble, but I'm just here to speak with you. About boy Calloway? I'm unarmed. <coughs> King Gallagher. I just want to talk. About boy Calloway? Sure. Here's your message.
go.